Hi everyone, it's Shelby. So I'm back again attempting to do another vlog. Um, and it's currently Friday night. I just put my daughter to bed. And I had the idea last night. I've seen Julie from Pages and Pens do something like this before. Where she just tried to find the most bizarre... Um, strangest, like titled, just basically the weirdest smut that she could find on Kindle and she read it and made a vlog out of it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that too. Um, yeah, so I just thought about doing this, like, I've thought about doing this before and I thought about it last night because this weekend, I thought maybe this weekend might be a good time to try this out. Um, my husband has to work all weekend, so I'm just going to be home with my daughter. But I was like, maybe I can try some weird smut. We'll see how this goes. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to expect going into this. So, like, I will read smut, like erotica, just like short story little erotica like on occasion it's not something I do a lot of most of the time I want at least somewhat of a plot um and I do want a little bit of like romance in it instead of just banging but if I'm going to read something like an erotica I Usually, I, I would assume my tastes are more, like, mainstream. Um, like, I like, like, taboo kind of stuff, like, age gaps, um, that kind of thing. But I usually don't delve into, like, monster smut or anything of that realm sometimes on occasion I will do some like paranormal but usually not so when I was looking up like really weird smut on kindle most of what I was finding was more like in the monster realm or like aliens which that like Okay, not really for me, but, you know, I mean, maybe it will be for me if I, once I read some of these. But then some of them were even, like, really, str also super strange, like, having sex with, like, plants. There's one with, like, pumpkins, and I think, like, a tentacle plant, and I'm just like, I don't really know how people come up with these and then another theme I was finding while I was like searching for some of these was a lot of them were more like very they sound very rapey like some of them let me look here some of them were like some gay erotica like monster erotica and it's like you know such and such forced me gay and I'm like that's to me that's not really appealing I don't, I'm not super into, like, rapey stuff. I would prefer my smut to be consensual. That's just me. I don't know if I'm the minority in that. I hope I'm not. But, you know, whatever. So, I'm not really percent sure what I'm going to end up reading first. I was looking at a lot of different things. And there are some that are actually on Kindle Unlimited. So, I might do some of those. Or try to, like, prioritize those. Just so I don't have to spend my money on some of these. Because, um, honestly, I'm expecting most of these to be really bad. Um, either they're going to be super bad. And it's going to be like the author was like trying to write like a serious erotica and try to make it like super sexy. And it's, I feel like they're going to be terrible. Or I feel like the authors are writing these as like a joke. As just something because it's going to be funny. So I have a feeling that I'm like... 
$9.99, somewhere on there, percent sure that I'm not gonna like any of these. But who knows? We'll just, we'll find out. So I'm not 100% sure what all I'm gonna read. Um, I'm gonna read off some of these titles that I was finding and I'll just kind of update you when I've like picked something and we'll go from there. And I'm also not expecting any of these to take really long. Um, you know, most of these, I think the longest that I found was maybe like 30 pages or so. So they're all going to be super quick. We'll just see how this goes. So I found Taken by the Swamp. Not 100% sure. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a swamp, like creature, like swamp thing that I can understand. But just like a swamp, not, not really sure how that works. But there's that. I found one that was like something, which I don't think I'm going to read. I have my iPad out in front of me to look up these titles since I film on my, um, my phone. I can't look at it on my phone. Um, what was it? Oh, Seduced by the Nag Naga? A, mo a monster? It's like a monster romance. And I wasn't 100% sure what a Naga was. And I put this on like my, like a list that I have made. And then I was looking and apparently a Naga is like some sort of, um, half man, half serpent creature. And I was like, I don't know if I can do that because I don't like snakes. And I don't know how these are going to go because some of these I'm like, well, maybe they're like a shifter and they change into a human and then that I'm okay with. But if they stay like an animal or a creature, I don't think I'm going to like that. So I'm worried because some of the stuff it said with the Naga like stories, it's like they could become a full man, be half man, half serpent, or they could just be a full snake. So I'm worried that it might have like full snake sex scenes and I can't, I can't deal with that. I hate snakes. Snakes make me like freak out and like just the thought of them just like gives me the heebie-jeebies and I can't. So if you've read that one and if you know, if there's, if they don't stay a snake, maybe I might read it, but for now, I think I'm gonna leave that. Um, I did find, so there's like demon orgy, you know, a demon erotica, which that might be okay. Um, and, but I also found like seducing Satan, which again, I have read some like Lucifer, I don't think I've read any like Lucifer erotica, but I have read some Lucifer, um, like romances. So I was like, well, maybe that's okay. But then I saw on the cover for this one, it had Satan with like really big, like horns. And I just was like, maybe he's more like creature esque in that one. Um, dinosaur lust. So I did find some dinosaur erotica, believe it or not. I have no idea how that works out. Um, maybe I'll find out. And there, there's a bunch of dinosaur erotica that it was, again, it was like gay erotica. And it was like, the dinosaur forced me gay or whatnot. I'm like, that just sounds sad. <laughs> um, rescued by the Mer rescued mermaid lover. That was another one. Um, Again, I don't really understand how mermaid erotica works because unless it's just like blowjobs and like oral, but like otherwise it's like part fish. Anyway, um, Touched by the Unicorn. So that one, it sounded like it was like a shifter romance and I guess this person turns into a unicorn. So I don't know if they're going to have sex in the human form or if we're gonna have some unicorn sex we'll find out that um chief hardhorn which is like a, i think it was an orc erotica i don't know um oh pumpkin surrogacy so this looks like it was like excuse me um like this girl gets pregnant with a pumpkin patch what like why okay 
Um, oh, and then I found a lot by this one author called Chuck Tingle. And I think most of his stories are on the realm of going to be, they're made more for like, to be funny entertainment. Because his, he had the most ridiculous titles. Um, but the one I was thinking about doing, if I do read any of them, is this bisexual snowman's carrot wiener is in my butthole. So there was some, there was like one that was like a moth, mothman ghost. And he also has some like food stuff. I don't know. It was very weird. Um, what else do I have? Oh, ganged by my gilf neighbor's garden gnomes. This one I put on there because... The one video that I watched from Julie from Page and the Pins where she read like all these weird like smut from Kindle. She had some sort of like gnome erotica that she read and I was just very intrigued by it. So I don't think it was this one. I think it was something else that I just couldn't find. Um, so we'll see. Um, impregnated by the spirit board. No idea how that is going to work. I'm a, I would assume it's probably like a ghost smut but that can then again how do you like get pregnant from that that doesn't make sense to me but whatever um deflowered by bigfoot so you know again more like monster um dominated by the dolphins a bbw dolphin shifter menage so some dolphin smut. Oh, and then the last one. So uh, when I found the dolphin smut, then I was like, well, what other kind of like oceanic, oceanic creature smut can I find? So I was trying to search for like maybe like shark smut something. And then I found some um, like period erotica. So there's one that's called Shark Week period fetish erotica, which I mean, I guess people are into. I'm sure, you know, the, all of this erotica is made for a reason because people want to read this. People are into these fetishes. I don't know, kinks. I'm not really sure what the, what it would be. Um, so obviously some people are into this stuff. I highly, highly doubt that I'm going to be into this stuff, but I still thought it would be an entertaining video to do. Um, reading all of this weird smut. So, I will check back in with you later when I've picked one of these or after I've started one of these and we'll see. I'm not 100% sure I thought it. I think I'm just going to do it over the weekend. So, like I said, today's Friday. Um, so, I'll probably just do this Saturday and Sunday. I have other stuff that I'm that I'd like to read too. So I'm not going to devote the whole weekend to reading this. Um, so I'm hoping maybe to read like five. We'll go with that. See how, how that goes. Maybe more, maybe less kind of depending on my mood and what I'd like to do. I'd like to try to do, um, not like the same type, like try to do like a bunch of different creatures and I'd also like to try not to pick the same author too. I want to try out um, a bunch of authors because some of these I'm assuming like I said are gonna be bad maybe not the greatest writing but I'm hoping some of them have some good like writing style and maybe if they have more like mainstream erotica I might read some of it we'll see so check back in with you later Alrighty. Hi guys. Started my first, um, weird smut book. I'm laying in bed, um, reading some of these. So I decided to start the mermaid one, um, Rescued Mermaid Lover by Claudia Candela. So not too bad so far. Um, the premise for this one is this guy he has a boat, uh, and I don't think he's a fairy. I don't, I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, 
and in this world he already knows that mermaids exist he sounds like he was like rescued from as a boy by a mermaid when he like fell overboard on a boat or something so what's happened he's like in his boat and a mermaid just like pops out of the water onto his boat because she's trying to save herself like swim away from a bull shark and so she pops on his boat to like save herself from getting like killed by this bull shark so that's how this is set up um not too bad so far. Um, the writing is so-so. It's not, like, the greatest, but it's also not the worst writing I've ever read. Um, so we'll see. Um, you know, I kind of appreciate already that he already knows about mermaids, so it's not like it's going to be, like, a huge shock that there's a mermaid just there. Because that might be, like, hard to grasp. But, you know. So, yeah. Check back in when I uh, finish it, maybe. Or a little bit further in. Okay. I just finished The Mermaid Smut. It was weird. But wasn't, like, terrible. I guess. Um... I still don't quite understand. So basically, yeah, she's running away from the shark. So he, like, starts up his boat and they, because the shark is, like, chasing them. Um, but then she's on his boat and she's starting to get, like, dry because she's a fish. So he has to, like, pour water over her to, like, moisten her up. And apparently it's very pleasurable for her. Um, and then he has sex with her, which I was very confused by that part. Apparently she has like this, like slit or something like in her front, like sounds like basically where a vagina would be. And he just, yeah, I don't know. That part was weird. And of course, it's very insta-love. As soon as he, like, sees her, he's just like, oh, I'm instantly in love with her. Blah, 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 whatever. Um, yeah, so, not really sure. And then they're, like, in love with each other, obviously. But they are like, oh, how are we going to be together? Because you live in the water and I live on land. And he just decides that he's going to move to, like, I guess this place on land that's, like, closer to where she is. And they're just like, oh, we'll just, we'll figure it out. We'll be fine. I'm just like, okay. I guess. <laughs> but, alrighty. So... First one down. We'll see how the others go. Hopefully they're not. They're more along the lines of this. Because this was like. It was it was fine. I guess. It wasn't like. Blatantly terrible. Which I was more expecting. So. Yeah. I'm not sure which one I'm going to read next. Maybe, since I did, like, fishy stuff, maybe, like, aliens or some other type of, like, monster creature. Maybe. Or maybe the gnomes. I don't know. We'll see. I'll check back in. I don't know if I'm going to read any more tonight. I may just, like, go to bed. Um, but, yeah. So, see you soon. Hey everyone, it's Saturday now. Um, it's about 10.45, 11. I'm currently feeding my daughter and then I'm also gonna eat like a lunch. Well, not a lunch yet, cause it's only like 10.45. I'm gonna eat like a snack. Um, this is, my daughter woke up at like seven and she was like absolutely starving. So she had breakfast then and now she's ready for like her first lunch of the day. She eats like crazy, so I'm actually feeding her some corn. You can see that. And then I just got this out of the microwave, some sliced carrots. And then she's eating 
you can see <laughs> the banana. Yeah. So she's going to eat that. I usually try to make her meals a little bit more colorful. It's very yellow, orange toned, but it's fine. <laughs> And then I, like I said, I'm not like crazy hungry because I only ate like a couple hours ago. Um, I'm going to do like a cheese snack and a cheese stick and some wheat thins because they're my favorite. And I think I'm going to start my next smut. I'm thinking I'm going to do the Chief Hardhorn by Jamie Westlake. I think this is like a orc smut. Maybe. I don't know. It's on Kindle Unlimited, so I think I'm going to try this one out. So, me and my daughter are going to eat some, and I will check back with you once I get into the Chief Hardhorn. <coughs> hey, so snack time is now over, and I've already started that Chief Hardhorn smut. I'm um, sitting on the floor trying to do my daughter's laundry. I have a big pile here and she is not helping. She thinks she is, but you know. Anyway, so I haven't gotten super far in Chief Hardhorn, but I can already tell I'm only like a page or two in and I can already tell the writing quality of this is so much better than the first one that I read but I think this is um it sounds like it's a like about a seer person and all I know is she like had a vision of this like orc guy um and she wakes up and she's like traveling with these two guys and they've already like she wakes up and she's like turned on so she immediately like turns to one of them and is like hey let's like get down and dirty already in like the first page so yeah not much plot so far which is honestly what I would expect more from an erotica is that I don't, I'm not really going in there expecting there to be much plot. So, yeah. Okay, so I just finished Chief Hardhorn. Um, it was not really what I expected it to be. Um, she was like, tempted the chief because she's like, oh, that treasure wasn't what I was coming here for. It was for your treasure. Ha ha ha, whatever. Um, yeah, so she ended up having sex with the orc, and then she, like, left and left her male companions that she was traveling with. She just left them there, too, to, like, I guess be, it sounded like, almost like slaves to these orcs, but then they ended up being happy with it. I don't know. Um, there was some gay sex in it as well. Wasn't expecting that bit, but, I mean, this wasn't, like, terrible. Um, it, almost like the orc people, like, the orc chief, it just said he was green and really muscly and, like, seven feet tall. Um, it almost reminded me of the, like, Ruby Dixon, um, like, Ice Planet Barbarian series where it's basically, like, they're almost, like, human except for, like, a few different things. Like, their skin is a different color and they're bigger. Um, but otherwise, they're more, mostly, like, human. So, that one, that one was fine. Um, yeah. So, I'm not really sure. I think I might take a break from this for a little bit. Maybe take a nap because my daughter, I just put my daughter down for a nap. Um... And I'm not really sure which one I'm going to go on to next. We'll see. Maybe some more kind of like monstery, like Bigfoot or something. I don't know. We'll see. Hey everyone. So now it's about like 3.30 or so. I'm 
night. My daughter just woke up from a nap. I also just woke up from a nap and I'm making us some food kind of, I don't know if it's like a late lunch, early dinner sort of kind of like meal. We're going to eat a meal now. Um, and then I'll probably eat like a snack or something later, but I'm making, I've got some fish sticks in my oven. And then I have these tater tots that are like these green giant veggie tots, broccoli and cheese. I haven't tried, I've tried, they've got like a cauliflower one that I've already tried before and I haven't tried these. So I thought I would do these in the oven and yeah, so that's whenever these are done. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, and I'm gonna eat those. And then I think I'm going to start, um, I got another smut, weird smut um, on my Kindle. It was called like The Ultimate Sensation, I think is what, it, what it's called. It's like a, a Dubcon monster story, I think is what the title of it was. I don't know, it sounds like this woman um, is maybe like exploring some like jungly place or whatever and like the synopsis anyway says that and then she gets taken and sacrificed to this monster beast or something like it sounds like King Kong basically but we'll see I'm not 100% sure what the monster person is we'll see I'll find that out but yeah so I decided to hang out outside after eating. So we're just kind of, it's really breezy out today. Um, but yeah, just enjoying the weather. Um, the broccoli tater tots were actually really good. They do taste like broccoli and cheese, which I mean, I like broccoli and cheese, so that was nice. But if you're looking for like a tater tots alternate to like potatoes. <laughs> She wants to say hi. Uh, um, so I'm reading that, I think Ultimate Sensation something. Um, but yeah, again, this is like fairly well written so far, which I'm honestly surprised, which is nice. Um, but I keep just thinking that this girl is an idiot <laughs> because how the locals get her, like kidnap her is she like meets this guy and he makes her like drink this. It's obviously already been opened and are you trying to talk to Anyway, yeah, it's obviously opened and they end up like roofing her. And I'm just like, you're so dumb. Like the number one rule that every girl should like know is you don't take drinks, drinks from strangers, especially drinks that are already opened. She's just, she's dumb. But it sounds like this creature is like a, uh, um, what do I want to say? Like almost like a Sasquatch creature or something. Um, like it sounded like they, she's already seen him briefly and he was like a humanoid type creature, but just like really hairy. So I'm already like halfway through. We'll see. She hasn't met the creature yet. She just like saw him, but yeah. Oh my God. What am I, what am I getting myself into? So she's now like pinned down, um, like tied down to the ground and the like beast creature guy or whatever is now, um, coming towards her and obviously going to like take her. But the description of this guy, so it's almost like he sounds basically like, like a gorilla, but a little bit more human looking, but his like face, like it said, he's got like almost like a snout and he's black and hairy all over. And then I got to his penis and it said when he became fully erect, 
It was like two feet long. Like, oh my god. <laughs> um, anyway. So, I can tell this is not for me. I'm definitely not somebody that's into creature, monster stuff. Um, this almost reminds me of my husband and I and one of our friends were talking about, like, the furry scale. Like, how furry do you want to go with, like, your kink? And so, like, one is, like, human. Like, straight human, no differences whatsoever. And then, like, down, down the line until you get to the end, it's, like, basically, like animal um and I don't go very far I do like humans I can see I can do maybe like I don't know like the like the ice planet barbarians they're like blue skin they're a bit taller they have some like rough like patches on their skin and their penises are a little bit different um they have like a a hook or something on them that hits like a woman's like G spot. Um those are you know, that's fine. Just like different colored skin or like if it's like a furry type creature, you know, like maybe some ears or a tail, but otherwise I want that person to be like mostly human. If you get past that, whereas like this short story is like way past where I'm comfortable. So I'm going to try to push through it um, and see where this goes from here. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna really like this, just because it's not, not for me, but if you're into, like, monstery, full creature, um, sex, maybe you might like this one. I mean, it's not bad writing. Um, I may actually check out some of this author's, like, other short stories. I know she's got a bunch of more, like, monster creature type things, but then she's got some more, like, mainstream, like, erotica. Um, so I may, if I'm in the mood, like, an erotic kind of mood, I might check out some of those. But, yeah. So, that's how this is going so far. Alrighty. So, hi. Took my hair down, because my daughter wanted to play with it. Um, I finished... I don't remember what it's called, the, I have it written down, Ultimate Sensation or something. Finished that, didn't really care for it because it was like, she was Linnell, his mate, and he like, had sex with her, and then he just like, took her off into the jungle, and she's like, never gonna be seen again, and but apparently she was into it. Good for her. Um, now I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to read the gnome one just because I'm, like, really intrigued. I'm very curious. More like, I have a feeling it's going to be, like, train wreck, like, curiosity, but I'm still curious. I think I'm going to do that one. And then... I honestly may just like wrap up this vlog just because and just make it more instead of like a weekend vlog maybe more of like a 24 hour kind of vlog thing um just because I'm like kind of tired of smut erotica I'm really wanting to just like get back into reading like romance <laughs> I want something with a plot and something that's just not just sex but like character development and sweetness and yeah I'm just kind of tired of <laughs> these short stories so and I don't know I think what I got it's like a three in one kind of thing so it's like three short stories and I think it's like part one part two part three um so I don't know if I'll read all of it I may just read like the first part maybe or 
I don't know, we'll see. And then save the others and maybe do this again one day if I feel up for it to read more weird kink, weird kinky um, smut. So, yeah. Decided to get some a mug of milk and eat some Oreos, milk and Oreos. Um, but I just want to say right off the bat, I've only read like the first like page or two of this, and I can already tell this is supposed to. I think this. I'm getting more like humorous vibes from this one. Um, and it's like this girl moved in, and her next door neighbor is a grandma. And this girl um, has like, I guess bisexual and thinks this grandma is really hot. And the grandma apparently likes to sleep around with a lot of people and is like keeping her up at night with her sexcapades, which I think is hilarious. But also, also you know, like good for her. Um, so that's the start of this, this book. And, um, yeah, she discovered because when she moved in, it was like snowing in winter. But now that all the snow is melted, she realized that her neighbor has like all these garden gnomes just everywhere in her yard and it's atrocious looking. But I think it's really cute because some of the garden gnomes, like they're all kinds of garden gnomes, like your typical garden gnomes. But then it said that she also had some more like modern looking garden gnomes with like them, like in like swimwear with like glasses on or like biker jackets which I think honestly I think some of those are like really cute looking I would never get garden gnomes and we'll see how I feel about this after I read this but yeah so hi everyone I just finished the gnome smut um I also if you can't tell got out of the shower so um, yeah, all I can say about this one is just, wow. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to think. So, she ends up kidnapping or just taking one of her neighbor's gnomes to get revenge because she can't sleep at night. And she finds out that the gnomes, like, come to life. And so all the rest of her neighbor's gnomes come over to her house and are like, we're going to take revenge because you took one of us. And they gangbang her. Yeah. This is this, this really weird. Um, also... All of these gnomes, they're various sizes. The shortest, like smallest being maybe like a foot tall and then the biggest being maybe like three feet tall. So very small, but they all have, they're very, very well endowed. Like the size of a grown man and even more some well endowed. Because of course. And then also all these gnomes are apparently like Scottish. You know, because of course gnomes are Scottish. Um, yeah. So, and at one point they end up putting their like pointy hat head inside of her. Yeah, so there's that. Um, I really, so like I said, this is like part, I just did the part one. Um, and then there's two other parts. And then this one that I got, it also has like a bonus story of like gnomes in space. Because why not read a smutty gnome story in outer space? That's what everybody wants, of course. Um, but one of them is with, um, so there's like the garden gnomes, but then it also has the, like the third part involves like fl the lawn flamingos. So I'm curious how that works out, but 
whatever. So, yeah. So this, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, my thoughts on this are, these were all very weird and they are not for me. I prefer either a romance or if I'm looking for just straight smut, I want it to be more contemporary. I don't mind some paranormal, but I want it to be more, um, less out there. Let me say that. So yeah, I might try this again sometime, maybe finish up the gnome one and try some of the others like, like dinosaur sex. Don't know what that's going to be like, but you know, I might try that out. But you know, if you're into some of these, um, like I said, the, for the most part, the first one didn't, the writing wasn't really that great, but all the rest of them were, the writing was like fine. So if you like some of these stories, you are into some of those, you might like these. I think I'm going to, the one by Jamie Westlake and then the one by Nixie Fairfax. Both of those are probably like the best well-written ones. Um, so if they have any like smut that isn't weird, like monster stuff, more like mainstream, just like people smut, um, I might check them out if I'm in the mood for that. Because they were honestly... Besides, like I said, all the monstery stuff that I didn't really care for, they weren't as bad as I was expecting them to be. Um, and then this last one was more just like ridiculous, over the top, gangbangy gnome. Also kind of funny too. Um, it's not the kind of book that I would want to read more for like getting in the mood but yeah so there's that so I hope you enjoyed this video I don't know when I'm gonna post this sometime um and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye guys